Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today, we're going to be customizing the Enus Jubilee yet again. Now, I actually still have my other Jubilee. I just wanted to make a new one. It's going to be more of a luxurious one compared to this one, which is now equipped with machine guns and has armor plating on the side of it and the remote control device as well. So I figured I would make a actual, you know, attempt at a luxury one. So anyway, let's hop in and start customizing. All right, guys. So starting off, we're going to go all the way up on the armor. Of course, the brakes as well. We're going to leave the armor plating alone on this vehicle. For the bumpers, we have front and rear options. Now, there are a lot of options that look really good on this car. In my opinion, the rally bumper looks really, really sweet. Um, I like the arc bumper too. The carbon speed bumper is interesting. And the racer bumper is also really interesting too. I personally think though that I want to go with the rally bumper for this one. So we're going to go for that. For the rear bumper, let's see here. I didn't really take a very good look at these when I uh, first customized this thing the other day. So I feel like... <sighs> I feel like I almost like the stock bumper the best, to be honest. Or maybe the racer bumper. Let's go for a racer. I, I kind of like that. For the engine, all the way up, of course, on that. The exhausts, we have a few different options here. Kind of like the oval racer exhaust. We're going to go for that one, I think. Actually, no, we're going to go for the oval chrome exhaust. Now for the hood, uh, there are a few options here. However, this thing is going to be a luxury vehicle. So, um, or, you know, like sort of subtle looking so i don't really think i'm gonna put a hood option on this thing so i don't know it kind of kind of makes me sad not to but i feel like it kind of looks a little cleaner so we will go xenon on the lights however for the livery of course i don't think we're gonna be putting on any of these liveries today boys uh for the plate we are gonna go yellow on black though for sure weapons and proximity mine yet again i'm not really not really looking to add those um now for the color of this thing Hmm, I was thinking of going for maybe a darker red, like Cabernet Red. I feel like it looks really good. Let's go for that. At least to start off with, we can always change it again. I really don't understand what the secondary color does on the new cars. At least on this one in particular, like I literally cannot see anything changing. It's not even the caliper color, like nothing changes. So we'll just leave that as black, I guess. Um, I guess really what changes is it changes the you know, secondary color option uh, parts to, you know, being a different color. So I really don't know what color to go with here. Almost thinking the primary, oh, wait a second, where did it go? Primary carbon sports skirt. I kind of like that. Let's, let's go for that one. Now for the spoiler, of course, we can change this. Um, we could go carbon on it, or we could go for the secondary, which is black. Um, hmm. It's an interesting option. I think I think we'll go for the secondary and I'll actually change the secondary color to Cabernet Red as well uh, so that that all blends in nicely. Now for the suspension, we can lower this thing down a bit. Let's do it. I think it's I think it looks better and I think it'll handle better. So uh, transmission all the way up and the turbo as well for sure. Now for the wheels on this thing, I really want to find some wheels that I actually like. I almost kind of like the concave mega mesh on this thing. I don't know for sure though. I feel like those wheels can look good on like almost any car. So like there is a possibility that we will add those to this. Uh, the concave racer also looks pretty good. The true fade concave also looks really good. I like that. Um, the hyper fresh as well. They look pretty all right. Uh, the Segoy concave. I feel like they can kind of work with this thing too. Um, and the mercy concave as well. Hmm. I almost feel like the Mercies are like the best option here, but at the same time, I really don't know. Honestly, the Hype 5, I feel like those kind of look okay as well. Uh, hmm. The Mega Mesh are like kind of calling my name, I feel like, but at the same time, the True Fade Concave look really good, but so do the Mercy Concave. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Mercies. Let's go for those. Now for the wheel color, that is the next thing. They do look really good in black. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go black for the color. I want to see what the other rims look like in black, actually, before we, before we finalize this. Those look good too. The concave racer and the concave mega mesh do just uh i'm gonna go with those i gotta i gotta do it boys sorry uh for the wheels we are gonna go uh bulletproof tires of course or sorry for the tires we're gonna go bulletproof and last but not least let's tint these windows all the way out this thing is looking pretty clean i am i'm quite happy with how this has turned out let's take this thing down to the ground we're gonna do a little bit of a sound test and a small review let's hear this thing It does sound pretty good. It, it could be better, don't get me wrong, but it does sound pretty good, I gotta say. All right. Now, I've already kind of reviewed this thing. You guys have probably already seen my other customization, so I, you know, 
I'm just going to do it again. Um, the handling, the acceleration, they feel really good on this car. Like I mentioned with the last customization that I did with this thing and when I ranked all of the new cars from this DLC, the Jubilee does feel really, really light. It feels really responsive when you're driving it, which I really, really like. Um, the the Cullen in which it's based off of in real life, I believe weighs around six to 7,000 pounds, which is an absolute ton. And this thing in game does not feel like it weighs that much. It feels like it weighs maybe 5,000 pounds, which is a great feature. And then this compared to the new Fister SUV that we got, the Astron or the Astron, that thing feels crazy light, but this thing still feels pretty good. Even at higher speeds, I feel like this thing has really, really good control, better than a lot of other SUVs, I feel like. I have to say I am a very big fan of this car. Now, I know there is a very large complaint from a very large part of the community about this thing's interior, and I completely agree. It is horrendously bad, especially for what this car is supposed to be. Um, obviously, Rolls-Royce in real life is like the pinnacle of automotive luxury, and for the Cullinan in GTA, or, you know, what's supposed to be the Cullinan in GTA, to have an interior that looks like that is just kind of an insult to the players. There's so many better interior presets that Rockstar has they've put on other cars before. I don't understand why they couldn't have put one of those on this thing. It would have been so much better. Um, so that is very disappointing. I'm very disappointed too, guys, just so you all are aware. However, I do still really like the car. I think the car is is just great. It, it's, it's just awesome to have this thing in Grand Theft Auto Online, finally. Um, I've been waiting for this thing, you know, pretty much since it came out in real life for them to actually make a GTA version of it. So it's good to finally see it come to fruition. Anyway, guys, I would definitely recommend picking up the Jubilee. If you haven't, if you haven't bought one already, you can, of course, test the one that comes in the agency. If you haven't bought one already, you can, of course, test the one that comes with the agency. If you have the agency, um, I'd recommend doing that before you buy it, just so you're aware of, you know, what the vehicle handles like and uh, what it feels like. So definitely, uh, definitely check that out before you buy this thing, if you have the ability to. But uh, if not, you know, I'm giving you my word. I think this thing is a very, very good vehicle. Now, it might not be the fastest SUV in the game. It might not be, it might not be the best looking, but I do think that it is a very cool one. The interior sucks, but honestly, everything else about the car is pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something, leave a like, if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.